What's up, family? It's your favorite author and storyteller, Matt D. Talford, award-winning author of a couple of books, From Fear to Faith, The Survivor Story, and Stuck in an Elevator. And today, I'm back with another, as you can see, on the road edition of Maddie's Rap. What are we talking about today briefly, Matthew? We are talking about the secret power, the hidden power of gratitude. Gratitude, you guys hear me say it all the time. Gratitude is the right attitude. Now, I want you to understand something that is simple and yet powerful. What you focus on expands, okay? What you focus on expands in your life. And that is where gratitude comes into play. That is where gratitude is so fundamentally important to success in life, period. I don't care what you're doing. Life, period. That is a general rule. Gratitude is fundamentally essential to success. How does that work? Well, I'm glad you asked. There is a passage of scripture, and y'all know how I get down already, so don't even, y'all already know, okay? Y'all know I'm going to hit you with the word, all right? Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So when I drop this word on y'all, I'm just giving y'all source energy, baby. I'm just giving y'all divine source energy, divine source light. That's all I'm doing. All right, so if you turn with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 12, it reads as such. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even what he has. Those are the words of the Messiah from Matthew 13 and 12. Now let me break that down for you in modern day terms and end this video. When you focus on what you have and treat it as though it is enough, treat it as though it is a lot, it expands. It expands. But watch this. Gratitude is the multiplier. Gratitude is the multiplier. So not only does it expand. Actually, let me say this. Gratitude is the fertilizer. Okay. Focused energy is the multiplier. Gratitude is the fertilizer. All right. When you give gratitude, when you say, you know what? You can look at a half a peanut butter sandwich with no jelly on it. <laughs> and say, man, all I got is this peanut butter sandwich, man. I ain't got no jelly. Well, guess what? You are focusing your energy on lack. But when you say, man, I was so hungry. Oh, God, Father, thank you. Thank you, divine source, creator. Thank you for this peanut butter sandwich. This, this peanut butter sandwich was a whole sandwich and it has fulfilled my needs. It has it has taken away my hunger. I'm no longer hungry. Thank you. Guess what happens? You are putting your energy into abundance and then it grows. What you focus on grows. What you focus on grows. But when you give gratitude for it, oh man, you're telling, you are basically Matthew 13 and 12. You are creating more abundance for yourself by having gratitude for those things which you already have. Gratitude is a powerful weapon. It really is. Start showing gratitude. If there's something in your life that is, is making you uncomfortable, watch this. Show gratitude for what you learned from it. You're not showing gratitude for the, the uncomfortable thing. You're showing gratitude for what the uncomfortable thing has done for you. Remember, I always say things don't happen to us. They happen for us. That's a flip. All you did was flip the energy. All you did was reverse the polarity. When you say, man, this thing keeps happening to me, Guess what? More of whatever that thing is, is going to continue happening to you. But when you say, man, this thing happened for me. Look at how I grew from it. Guess what? You're going to experience abundant and infinite growth. What you focus on expands. So when you focus on lack, lack is going to expand in your life. Period. Point blank. When you focus on lack, lack is going to expand. Don't focus on lack. Don't even look at something as being lack. I want you from this day forward to look at things that you used to look at as lack, begin looking at those things as abundance. Don't say, I don't have this. Say, I have this. 
And guess what? What you have is going to expand because what we focus on expands. But even more so, when you show gratitude, it really goes quantum. It, it, takes, it takes a quantum leap when you begin to show gratitude. So show gratitude. Gratitude is the right attitude, y'all. I could go on and harp and harp and harp on about this, but it's right there in scripture. All right? To him that hath, I'm going to read that one more time for y'all. I'm going to get out of here. All right. Gratitude. Start showing gratitude for those things that. Start showing gratitude for those things that you think you don't have. All right. Start showing gratitude for them. Matthew 13 and 12. For whosoever hath to him shall be given. What does that say? That says that, hey, I recognize that I have this. This is this, these are spiritual principles, guys. I say this all the time. The Bible is not a religious book. It is a spiritual book. This has this passage of scripture has nothing to do with religion. Show me, show me what that's religion. Show me what that's religion. For Matthew 13 and 12, for whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. Hey man, you know what? I have this. Oh man, I'm so grateful for this. Man, I am so grateful. Look at what I got. Guess what? It's going to be multiplied. Because what you're doing is you're telling, you're speaking into the ether. You are activating more abundance by showing appreciation for what you have. Man, I'm so grateful. Man, I had a great day today. I had a great day. You could, you know what? You could have gone out in your house and gotten a flat tire in the middle of the rain and got your clothes soaked and, and basically um, uh, got late going to work or whatever. You show up at work dripping wet and with a donut tire in your car. There's two ways you could look at that. You could say, man, man, look what happened to me today, man. I got rained on, man. I got, or you can have gratitude and say, you know what? I'm thankful that I had a spare tire in my car. I'm, I'm grateful that nothing happened to me while I was going, while I was out there changing this tire in the rain on a busy road. And you could say, I'm grateful that I got a job to go to and that I have abundance to be able to and I got a great boss that'll let me leave work that is kind enough to say, hey, you know what? I don't want you sitting in here uh, dripping wet. Go home and change clothes. Matter of fact, take the rest of the day off. I, 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 I give gratitude that I got a great and understanding boss who is cool enough to let me go home and change clothes and then told me, hey, you know what? I know you're going to come right back here. I don't need you today. And guess what? I'm going to pay you for today anyway. Go home and, and, and uh, put some, uh, put some, some uh, uh, wet, uh, dry clothes on and relax. Everything happens for a reason. Now, guess what? Your, your day turned into something powerful. But if you get there and be like, oh, man, oh, boss, man, look what happened to me, man, man. Look, yeah, man, <laughs> I'm wet, man. I got, man, my car, my car tire got flat on me. And, uh, man, I'm late, man. I just, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You don't know what that boss has got going on. He, he, he could be having, he could have gotten some bad numbers, uh, a bad report, numbers report, and he telling them, hey, he got to do something different in his business or whatever. By your coming in there with that low vibrational energy, you just made his day worse. But guess what? You say, hey, check me out today. Let me tell you this story. Let me tell you this unbelievable story that just happened, all right? And and how I made it out of there and, and how thankful I am about me getting soaking wet here. You know what? And that might just lift his mood. Gratitude is always the right attitude. Show gratitude for everything. If it's something that is painful, it was a lesson. So give gratitude for the growth that took place as a, as a result of the lesson. Give gratitude for that and watch how much more growth happens in your life. What you do is you eliminate the things that cause that growth per, per se, like the, the what whatever that uncomfortable experience was, you eliminated it by not focusing on the uncomfortable experience. You focused on the outcome. Hey, I grew from this. I am not the same person I was yesterday. Gratitude is the right attitude. Matthew 13 and 12. For whosoever hath to him shall be given. Whosoever hath to him shall be given. Everybody have. Everybody has. So if I can modernize this scripture to whosoever recognizes what he has, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away even what he has. So whosoever does not recognize what he has, whatever he has is going to be taken away. He ain't going to get nothing else, and whatever he has is going to be taken away. Why? Because he did not show gratitude. That's all I got. For, that's all I got for y'all today, family. Listen, I'll end this video like I end them all. First off, if you like this video, you like being inspired and motivated, give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for me. All right. It really helps more people to see positive videos and positive content like this. And 
um, I'll end this video like I end them all. Tell somebody you love them and mean it. How do you mean it? You have to show it. Love is a verb. It is a noun as well, but when we focus on the verb, the noun always takes care of itself. Now, one of my previous videos, one of my recent videos, I sang a few bars of that song, More Than Words. It's a very powerful song. More Than Words is all I ever need to hear. Maybe I need to sing it. More than words is all I ever need for you to show. Then you wouldn't have to say that you love me. Cause I'd already know. More than words, all right? You got to show it. You got to show love. When you show love, love will abound. All right. Be the love you want to see. Be the love you want to see and the love you want to experience. That's all I got for y'all family. I love you guys. Peace.